Peace family. Hello, Cosmic family. How are you today? I'm trying to set this phone up just right. Okay, that's okay. Y'all, I have a channel message today. Um, peace and power to you. I guess I'm going to go in with my deck. Skulls and bones. Alright, y'all. Anyways, peace and love to you all. I'm going to be channeling a message. I have a channeled message. Let me read the message. Y'all, my energy is like, I just was listening to some music after meditation, so it's like fluctuating right now. But we gonna roll with it, we gonna roll with it. So let's see. If you're a Scorpio, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Scorpies. I love you, cause you rule death and transformation. I love you. Skulls and bones, baby. Okay, anyways, I have two channel messages, but um, let's see which one do I want to, cause they're pretty much the same. Okay. So, um, so someone now has the ability to control and manipulate matter without physical intervention. So that is the channel message. Someone has the ability to control and manipulate matter without physical intervention. So let's go ahead and get into it. I have a new deck, y'all. Before I even start pulling cards, let's introduce her. Very beautiful deck. I call her Peaches and Cream. <laughs> Look at her. She's so pretty and bright and neon. Like, look at that. I love her. And this is the deck that we will basically be kind of like pulling from. So I guess we can go ahead and start. Um, I have a few channel messages um, outside of the, um, you know, the prompt, basically. Um, I've been getting a few things, a few downloads, basically, about, um, you know, many people being now able to uh, reach... I guess or utilize their um, abilities in a more higher state of being in a more higher state of awareness I just seen two 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 so you've been bringing a lot of things into balance um this year has been very very fluctuating itself um so when it comes to balancing and you know releasing surrendering and um, letting go of a lot of things that no longer serves us or you um you have now opened up a or unlocked a certain DNA strand within yourself um, and now you are now cap it's like tapping into your Akashic records I'm getting like past life um, abilities or past life gifts that you are now here in the now able to um, you know have access to you have gained access to um, I'm definitely getting something about unlocking a new door not only uh, not only unlocking something with that within yourself but uh, unlocking a new door. So going through some form of transformation. Like I said, this year was a very major year for you. Um, you may have been, you know, like very, um, you know, introspect this, this year. Obviously, this is the year of balance, you know, getting things in alignment, you know, and releasing your old self, shedding your old self, getting something about metamorphosis, like the whole butterfly effect. So really shedding your old self and then, you know, fully blooming into that new you where you can um, now access, like I said, a lot of new things. That doorway um, basically granted you a lot of success. It's granting you a lot of success, a lot of attention, a lot of awareness. Your abilities, your capabilities are now enhanced. So a lot of things are now going to be more open and accessible to you. So be on the lookout for that. Like I want to, I feel the need to say congratulations to you because you are now like, I'm getting like the target. You hit the target or you like bullseye, you know, something you may have just done in the in the recent past you may or may not be aware of it it could be physically or spiritually but everything works as one the spiritual realm is actually in control of the physical so i'm getting here that whether or not you did it in the physical or in the spiritual it has it's like well done for you so um yeah i guess i can go ahead and go in with the peaches and cream because this is a be beautiful deck here let's see divine guardian angels
I'm getting something about guardian angels as well. Your guardian angels are around you, supporting you at this time, protecting you at this time. Um, alertness is what I flipped onto. So you could be very alert at this time. I'm getting like your awareness. That's that sensibility. Your senses are very heightened. So past the five senses, you know, I smell taste hearing touch past those senses you're very very um let's just say sensitive at this time so you can hear like a pin drop from like a mile away that's really fucking dope like i can't admit like if you can you know what i'm saying be so sensitive to the point where you're able to hear the crickets rising out of the fucking dirt in the morning that that means you've like unlocked some form of like your the capacity within your mind is so like keen you have literally like you're like so, let's just say intelligent. You're so aware, you're so in tune that you now have these different like abilities you know, within yourself. So I'm getting your alert. You're very alert at this time. Something could be um, alerting to you or alluring to you at this time. You could have a lot more interest at this time. Like I said, guardian angels. So your guardian angels could be pulling you towards a new topic, a new, uh, some some form of new like uh something that may interest you you know you may not have once interest or may not have once you know caught your your attention but like i said it, you shed this is the scorpio season death and rebirth so this new you is is like attracted to new things newer things greater things is what i'm hearing better out for you it's like leading you to like the person you want it to be or you want to be you desire to be um, there's definitely something coming out like that's it's calling you I'm getting like a pull like the alluring effect something is pulling you like a magnetic I'm also getting like your magnet right now so a lot of things are attracted to you I'm also hearing abundance so a lot of abundance or a lot of um let's just say like um uh, prized possession type of um energy it's like a prized possession type of thing here like i don't know maybe it's like gifts grants you know like a whole bunch of things just getting thrown at you at once a lot of people getting thrown onto you at once um a lot of opportunities just coming to you uh just a, information coming to you like a lot of downloads a lot of different things that is a good sign for you just be aware that a lot of things are going to be you know coming your way so the best thing to do right now for you um i get that you are in this alert state where a lot of things is catching your attention but in order for you to stay balanced two 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 energy um you want to you know breathe calm down meditate um, get out in nature, ground yourself, do a lot of grounding and eat a lot of root veggies. I'm getting that is highly important because being that your senses are so aware and so heightened, you definitely want to be sure of, you know, what you are consuming. Um, not too much television, not too much, um, you know, the media don't like overindulge in the wrong type of consumptions because that those type of like the wrong consumptions or like bad food, bad, bad, you know, like the senses what you're eating bad food or what you're around bad smells you you want to protect your 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 aura what you're hearing you don't want to be around a lot of people who's fighting and arguing and cursing a lot because your energy is so sensitive so um also what you're seeing you don't want to watch things all day that aren't it's not heightening you it's not feeding you you know what i'm saying because you are what you eat and Eating is not just like a physical thing. It's also, like I said, the five senses. And you have mastered those senses. Now you want to keep it at a balanced state. So that's where you are, baby. And I know that's right. I like this deck. Okay, these, I'm, I'm just shuffling. So these are the two cards I feel like you guys can't see. And I know that kind of sucks, but it is what it is because I have film from my car. Um... The card that came out was calculus. So like I said, you're like you're in like a calculus state of mind where you are just very like high vibrational. You know, a lot of things can't be around you. A lot of people can't be around you. A lot of like um energies you you are a sponge right now you're very like alluring like i said and it's really that like a lot of people are attracted to you right now because you're carrying this very abundant radiance on you like you have like the angels the guardian angels everything is just going in your favor like i said grant like something is being granted to you you transform you're like the but beautiful butterfly that everybody is like so attracted to but um 
what you want to do at this time is what I'm getting is um make sure that you are keeping steady within yourself, making sure that you are balanced and centered, getting back to that center and you know basically uh like yoga, if you like yoga, um sitting in the dark, taking baths, you know, just basically like uh taking care of yourself, doing things to basically keep yourself in a centered space. That is like you're like i'm hearing like rock on like you're really like doing the damn thing and i don't know what you just completed congratulations like you even could be seeing like balloons or pictures of cakes be like aware i know it said alert but look at the small things and i know you actually so this is how you are you're like so tapped in and you're so aware and so alert that you like you you analyze everything i'm even getting sometimes you may over analyze some things you know like don't think too deeply on things don't think too hard on things you feel me if it's meant for you it shall come it shall be but um don't like over indulge in certain things like we said already but um i don't even know what i was gonna say but it's like um yeah be careful with like uh i don't know why i said be careful so be careful with over indulging okay but um cake i said something about c celebrating and uh something about celebrities is coming through so what about it and i just seen 1101 so 111 that is like a new opportunity a new beginning a new doorway what <laughs> like what what more do we have to get through when we say like you literally just like you just came in like you came out of nowhere i'm getting like, maybe people are going to be, like, looking at you like, damn, I've never seen you before. Like, someone actually may come up to you and say that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what to say? I can teach you something. Wow. Yeah, people are going to be, like, you literally have this energy. Like, I might be able to teach you a few things. You feel me? And I'm also getting, you're very attracted. You're like a sapiosexual. Like, intelligence is, like, what attracts you sexually. It, like, turns you on. It, like, riles you up. You feel me? And that's a good thing, you know? I actually feel that way as well. Like, I love intelligence, especially when it comes from, like, the opposite sex. Doesn't always have to be that. Like, I, I, I seek that in a friend as well, you feel me? A gal or, like I said, I'm, uh, the opposite sex. If you, like, if you're, like, a brainiac like me, you feel me? That turns me on. Like, I actually want to talk to you more. I actually want to, like, hang out with you more. Like, I'm, like I said, you really don't want to be around people who aren't on your vibration, who's like always cursing and fighting and arguing and like very low vibrational because that's not gonna like I don't want to say it's gonna bring you down but it's going to like uh what should I say um ancestors can you help me out it's like it's like really it's giving me like I don't like I can't say it's gonna stop you because you can't be stopped obviously you like you made that uh you 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 had that that um reality leap you know where you had that breakthrough moment so you can't be stopped maybe it like it's like when a baby is around the wrong is in the wrong household you know like when everyone lets everyone hold their baby or like you can't let everyone hold your child like you should really be careful who holds your child it's kind of like that 13 13 confirmation it's like you really don't want you're you're so you know, your essence is so innocent and pure you really want to protect yourself you know what i'm saying you want to stay in the light you know like you really don't want to like be in the wrong at the in the wrong place at the wrong time you know what i'm saying it's like you're just too good you know and that's just the reality of it like you're really just too pure for a lot of different you know um environments around here and i'm just saying like you may even feel like that you may even actually feel like damn like i'm I, i'm too like good for a lot of stuff like i'm even too good to hang around certain people now y you are like that's you're literally channeling that energy because you've like and I, the way that i'm doing this it makes me feel like the kundalini rising so you literally like awaken something within you you know what i'm saying to the point where you can't go back you know what i'm saying it's like you close that door, you, 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 you walked away from that crowd, you know, you're not really interested in that lifestyle anyways. So it's like, you really don't want to be like where you're not needed. So be where you're needed. I guess that's the moral of the story. Thank you, spirit guides. But it's like, yeah, that's really the moral of it. Like you, 
you really just want to be where you're where you're where you're needed not where you're like your energy is being usurped so yeah you're really in this very high state of awareness this high state of like development like you you're like like i said you unlocked you know the movie lucy where she unlocked 100 percent capacity of her mind and now she was able to like see like the roots through like the, the the cement and stuff like that she was able to like over here like i said you're super sensitive so like you can hear what people are thinking you can hear people's thoughts you can hear people's like emotions and the way that they feel you can feel what someone is actually thinking whether they say that or not you know what i'm saying so it's like you're so sensitive and so aware you're so alert it's like you you have to be like in a calming space like you hear this Hold on. like that's literally how you're like a baby you know what i'm saying you're literally like a baby so stay aware okay let's see divine because this is a beautiful like time you know i'm channeling really fast but it's okay like I'm getting something is going, but it's happening very fast for you. It's coming in fast for you. A lot of things are coming in very fast. Psychodynamic. Psychodynamic. So childhood memories, mentalities, or emotional forces that have um, that has effects on your behavior or mental state. So um, psychodi psychodynamic. Um, this basically is like pinpointing your experiences as a child your childhood memories your childhood emotions you know certain things that you had to encounter as a child that has now um kind of molded you in today's society it kind of like taught you you feel me i'm getting you were raised by wolves in a sense you know that doesn't have to obviously be um literal but it's like your family may have been chaotic you may have grown up in like a lower income household or you may have you know been raised around some pretty harsh people where they're not necessarily very tapped in or tuned in you know to the things that you are aware of and that you're talking about or thinking about you know what i'm saying so it's like you weren't very relatable i'm getting like the black sheep of the family like there's things that you literally like encountered mentally emotionally physically that basically kind of made you the way that you are today you know what i'm saying so i'm getting that whatever happened or whatever you went through was literally for you not to you so it's like it literally made you the the god you are today it it, it molded you into this this beast you know what i'm saying and i really felt that when i said it it's like you are genuinely untouchable unstoppable nobody can tell you anything nobody can like come in and try to make you feel like you're less you feel me that ain't happening no more i'm hearing like literally that ain't happening no more i don't know um what your childhood was it could have been good you know but whatever you had experienced emotionally you could have even felt abandoned i'm feeling the need to say that you could have felt like neglected or unheard or misunderstood that's a big one um for a lot of us who are on our spiritual journeys i know we can feel very misunderstood hold on okay yeah misunderstood you know whatever you had you know like your your mind developed everything and basically consumed the way that or not consumed it developed the way that it developed like you're so highly aware it's because you've been so introspective all your life in a sense it's like you had to basically kind of like be shut out to let yourself in you know what i'm saying um you had to literally be in the back to know what it feels like to be in the back to finally rise to the top i don't know if that's making sense to you but it's like when someone is always ignored or like always in the back or never like they're always in the shadows you know what i'm saying and they finally get that opportunity to speak or they finally get that opportunity to be heard or to travel and you know do what you want to do what you came here to be what you desire whatever it is that you want i'm literally getting granted something is being granted to you like what do you want to do maybe your ancestors your angels your guardian angels your spirit guides maybe they're actually asking you that you could feel the need to like answer like what do you want or why do you want to you know like it's, it could be something that's like calling you or pulling you it's like you could even get asked to take on a new um uh there's a certain word that i'm looking for 
a, you could I'm just gonna say this you could be called to like go on a new journey go a new route um, ambitions like there's something ambitious that's gonna like hit you out of nowhere and you're gonna be like oh my god I love that or oh my goodness I'm so I, I love whatever it is maybe you're learning something new you know it could be on a minor scale or it could be on a major maybe you could like see an island or see a certain you could get you could see like a state on a on a tag of a car and you could be like I wonder what it's like to like go there and then like all of a sudden things just start moving around you know what I'm saying the spirit guides are here with you literally <laughs> And they're like watching you. They're like literally over you, basically kind of monitoring what it is that you want. Because you're in this new era of like anything. Anything is possible. Literally anything is possible. And yeah, let's keep shuffling though. Like so I really get the, the mood or I get this feeling, this urge to say like, get ready. Like, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because your ancestors are literally, they could literally be asking, asking you that. Are you ready? All right, spirit guys. I love this deck. Okay, let's see. Oh, I literally put this card back and it came back out. So it's meant. IQ, your IQ. You could have very like high, um, your intellect, like I said, is very high. You even could have been in like calculus in school we did get calculus so you could have had like um advanced class or you could have took like uh uh honors you feel me and in school days or in college if you're in college you could be in like honors or like advanced or um you feel me uh what is it called there's a certain class i think it's called advanced literally but um yeah reasoning problem solving and your abilities like you always like you never really reacted in life or you learn quickly how to use your mind and utilize you know the what you had been through to basically get you through whatever you're experiencing so i'm really getting like the wounded warrior i'm literally getting like someone who had to go through a lot to finally like like you went through a lot to finally be here you know so that's really good for you like whoever you are like i'm really clapping for you. your guides are really happy for you so you really could be seeing like cookies like i don't know like you could be attracted to cookies right now like i don't know you could be attracted to like balloons or you could see balloons you could see like confetti somewhere or like just pay attention to your surroundings because they're gonna fucking communicate to you i'm not joking so when you see that just know this message is going to be confirmation okay um, yeah, but you're problem solving. You've always, you know, kind of like had the, you, you knew the way out, you know, you could have been like the smart guy in the group, literally like out of your friends, everyone came to you for problem solving and shit. So like you really like had it since a child I'm getting literally like you, you, you could have been like very introvert or very shy. Um, those are actually signs of like, like higher level, higher level thinking. If children, when children are like preserved, you know, they're like always, you know, kind of like by them, by themselves, they really aren't too much of a crowdy type of person. You could have been in the crowd a lot, maybe as a younger, you know, teen or child, but um, I'm getting something about you not necessarily wanting to be in crowds. You're not really being attracted to the crowd anymore. I'm getting it's too much. All right, spirit guys, let's get some more messages out. I don't want this message to be too, too long, but I just really had the, I felt the need to come, um, you know, let you know this. This is something very, very beautiful. I'm hearing minute, minute. Let me look up that word, minute, because it sounds very familiar. Minute kind of reminds me of something like, it kind of reminds me of the word miniature, but I'm not getting minute. Minute means... Okay, not minute. <laughs> oh, uh, it is... What? 
Hold on, y'all, because now I got to know. 3.53 in the clock. Are y'all into cooking lately? Y'all been cooking lately? Or you been, like, you know, into cooking lately or wanting to cook? Because I'm literally so excited to go cook when I get off this video. <laughs> like, literally. Um, often... Okay. Hold on, y'all, because this is so, like, unprofessional in a sense. Oh, wow. It says, the definition I got, at least, is like a ballroom dance. Like, literally, it says a slow, steadily ballroom dance for two and triple time, popular, especially, especially in the 18th century. So, I guess... It could be something dealing with music as well. So you could be into music suddenly, all of a sudden, wanting to make music maybe. But it's literally get, giving me this, like ballroom dancing, fancy big dresses, heels for my men, like beautiful tuxes, you know, just super crisp. I'm getting, you know, very chic energy. Could be significant. Could be significant. Maybe you're, someone's gonna, I don't know, should I say it, spirit? Maybe someone, okay, I'm gonna say it. Maybe someone is gonna, like, ask you out on a date or something. Something very, like, elegant ro or romantic is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Hmm. That's really nice. I'm getting, like, you deserve it. Oh, I just heard someone say, hurry up. Maybe you've been, like, wanting this for a while and then the alarm. You Maybe you've been, like, wanting that for a while, like, romance or genuine love or genuine partner. So, look, don't touch me comes out. Like, literally, you've been, like, maybe you've been feeling like you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to be bothered by, like, certain energies. You really don't want to be, like, in the mix, you know, in the conjunction with other people because you just know people don't necessarily have, like, the best intent, you know, or the best heart at will. Like, they, they really aren't, like, a clean spirit even for some people. I'm getting you're very like um selfish with yourself, which is beautiful. That's good. You want to be in this energy of like I, I I care for myself. I care for my well being. Like we mentioned at the beginning, you really want to protect yourself because you are like very special. I'm hearing a special child. So it's like in the spiritual realm, like you're a baby. Remember we said that you're like a baby. So it's like. I don't know if you really care to be around people or you care to have people's attention right now. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. But it says, don't touch me. Like, maybe you have been feeling like you don't want to be bothered or you really don't want to be touched by certain people. Maybe that could be physical. Like, maybe you really don't want people to touch you because, like, their energy could be, like, you could feel people's energy or their auras. You know what I'm saying? Um, retrocognition. So I'm also getting here that you're able to see vision in the in the in the past. So I almost said the future, but in the past, retrocognition is you know being able to like didn't we mention akashic records and past life gifts? So something about your past life is coming through. Maybe literally like things are like spiritually being pulled to your to your current position, your current state. But um. Uh, retrocognition you could be getting like past like memories you could be seeing past like people we did just say someone's gonna come up to you or ask you on like a romantic date or something so there could be someone from your past life some like a a romantic lover or like a genuine lover or a friend you know be out on the look for that because i'm getting these people are like or whoever this person is is genuine um played on your own as a a lot as a child so something about like um your inner child is coming through something about like an inner child is coming through or like that creative energy is flowing through you right now so you're being able now to attract that is beautiful it's like you're right where you need to be you're on a timeline you know what i'm saying you're in a time zone of like uh attracting what you need not what you want maybe in the past you wanted the wrong things or you were trying to this is why this energy came out and then retrocognition the past um, don't touch me and then the past energy around that so maybe um things occurred in the past and you maybe you you know you kind of didn't have the right mind state or the right mind frame when it came to like what you wanted in life this is why i'm saying maybe your spirit guys could be literally asking you now okay now you're on this 29 29 you're on this 
new new balance beam you know what i'm saying i don't know like they're giving me like the libra scale type shit like you're like balanced now two 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 energy and it's like maybe you are now able to have access to that fortunate lover or that fortune my muscle just jumped so a fortunate lover could be coming through or a genuine friend a genuine lover like some pe genuine people now and maybe you wanted that maybe you always desired that but you were like in the wrong i don't know something about your your energy was like kind of like not necessarily aligned or something like that you had to like do a couple of things look sapiosexual coming through now you're like attracted to intelligence now you know what you want now you know what you need out of people you know what i'm saying maybe you were coming off with the wrong intentions maybe you were coming off with the wrong like you were kind of coming off on the wrong on the wrong note or foot you know what i'm saying and you were like basically misleading people even though you wanted something this is kind of like that whole energy <clears throat> excuse me this is kind of like that whole energy of like drink water by the way but this is the whole energy of like um basically like not setting boundaries enough or um people pleasing so maybe you could have been in this space where you you knew you wanted something or you knew you didn't like something that someone was doing or you weren't necessarily like interested in someone or you didn't like how someone did something you know you weren't very comfortable with the um person place or thing that you were in but you kind of just accepted it that the divine um our spirit guys the universe doesn't want us to just settle you know what i'm saying we don't settle for anything around here ever so when it comes to you basically not knowing what you want you know what i'm saying that's a sign that you're not know you don't know what you want you're not sure but even if you're like uncomfortable and you're just going with the flow of something that you're uncomfortable with no one knows what you're feeling but you inside so it's like you have to communicate that and now it's like you're in this energy of i'm gonna speak up for myself i'm gonna talk up for myself i'm gonna tell you what i do not and do like and that is just that so yeah you're like super attracted to intelligence now you're super attracted to the things that you're attracted to you know what i'm saying in other people though and if you if you're gonna address you're you're gonna you're gonna speak up you're gonna address everything now okay i hate crowds literally it's like you don't want to be around the wrong crowd you don't even want to be in a crowd unless it's like on your your vibration you know what i'm saying yeah because look wiser than most wiser than most and then what does this say on the side they watch you from a distance so it's like these crowds here i'm getting this crowd energy this crowded energy it could be like stagnant people places or things you know that you let go past energy um yeah because look precognition is right on top of the deck so like the future is kind of like you are the future you're living in the future you're walking in the future you're um thinking about the future and people are like stuck in the past literally it's like you people are watching you because they can't make it's like they can't have access to you anymore now you know what i'm saying so what is this so social or sociocultural sociocultural is basically where you have this craving or this um desire to want to um like uh present yourself you're like a very family person you like to communicate you like you're loving you like to you're you like the family dynamic type of thing you like to go out and 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 have like events or you like to go out to social events you know what i'm saying you like to have art events you like to just be out you know doing what you like done you know what i'm saying it says here strong sense of family you know community support so you may like feel the need or you love to support the community um mentorship you like to teach you like to talk to people you like unity you know what i'm saying you could be an actual teacher an earth angel like a teacher you you're, you're guided to teach or to talk or to speak about the things that you know um good education health care recreational facilities and like i said exposure to arts like you like that type of stuff I'm hearing you get out so maybe you'll be getting out or your your face gets out there your 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 voice gets out there what you do who you are your energy your vibration is so loud and so magnetic you get out there yeah look on the top of the deck because you have purpose 
You have a purpose. I'm going to pull like three more cards and then we're going to go to another deck. I don't want this video to be like longer than it has to be. Okay. Alright, maybe one more card because they don't want to come out no more. Maybe we got all we need. Okay, last shuffle. Be careful with like past people trying to like come back into your life. Yeah, Keen came out. Like I said, you're in this like very highly developed state of not only awareness but um of like um like uh let's just say I'm hearing something about cognition. So like like I said, not only like your awareness and stuff like that, but like more so it's like your lifestyle you know what i'm saying you're like in this very highly developed state of being like you really don't want to jeopardize how far you came i read something today it said you didn't come this far to come this far so it's like don't go don't turn back don't look back you know and i guess that's it from that deck okay Let's see. Look what's on top of the deck before I start shuffling. Divine intervention. Yep. I'm hearing welcome to the good life. That's Kanye West. He said, welcome to the good life. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hella cards just fell out. <laughs> welcome to the good life. Like we always do it this time. I go for mine. I got to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Hey, I know that's right. So you finna be celebrating. Throwing your hands up in the sky. Okay, these are the four cards that have um, hit the ground. So let's go ahead and I'm going to shuffle the four cards and... Let's see what spirit wants us to... Okay, this one. Look for the sign. So the number four could be highly significant. You could literally be saying like 444 or like... um, You could have the life path number four. I had I was going to say that, but um, I didn't. But um, look for the sign. Like I said, pay attention to your surroundings because you're going to be getting a lot of signs. Like, I'm hearing a lot of codes. So there's going to be some type of like riddle. Here, like the riddle effect, connect the dots is what I'm getting here. Literally, connect the dots. I know the way out. Lost files. So something here about the past is coming through and you are being called. So, um, I know the way out and lost files. Oh, I'm literally getting something about Akashic records, your records, your files, literally. So scratch that about the past. Your files are coming through, or maybe your past abilities, your past gifts, your past, like, experiences. Uh, look for the sign, though, is what I'm getting, basically, though. Okay, let's see. Catatonic. So catatonic, I'm getting something like massive or like explosive or like super important or super like literally massive, super massive here. It's why you came. So it's like, it's like you came here to like do something or you came here to like talk about something or like blow something up or you came here to like speak the truth. Maybe your words, like I said earlier, your words are very like felt. Your felt, your your face is felt, your your words, your vibration, your frequency. People literally can feel you from a mile away. Like, um, it's raining, so I see here living on multiple time zones. So I'm literally giving the I'm literally getting the traveler. You're like traveling all day. Even through your dreams, your dreams could be very like vivid at this time. You could be lucid dreaming. Or people could be lucid dreaming about you. You know the song Lucid Dream? Like, I, I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love it and I hate you. So people is like, 
mesmerized over you or like reminiscing over you like lost files people from the past and i just rubbed my nose people from the past are like seeing your shadows or feeling your energy on some shit you feel me i'm getting judgment is being called this was the card that i seen called judgment judgment is being called over them maybe people did you wrong in the past uh i just seen esoteric keys yeah look it came out again esoteric keys and the number 13 so that's love over hate i'm getting forgive people forgive them for i'm hearing forgive me for all that i have sinned so it's like um forgive the people for like all the wrong that they've done you imagination is your reality so i'm getting maybe you like think a lot you create a lot in your mind you manifest mentally like your mind is like literally like like you manifesting is imperative like you literally think about something you want so hard and it just comes to you like if you want it you'll have it just say it look divine intervention just say it just say that's what i want that's what i need right now and it'll come to you look literally i can't make it up i just open it up do what i say do what i say do what i say like whatever you say abracadabra boom like it's there babe let me pull one more card. I wish y'all can see like the cards fall out because it's so dope. Yeah, it came out again. Living on multiple time zones. So it's like you're literally like shape shifting or like time traveling. So you're a time traveler. Um, literally getting that. Um, metamorphosis. Like you, you have the ability to be like in one state at one moment and then like in another state at another. And then like one, one being like maybe you have like a... Um, fluctuating like attitude like people like maybe one moment you want to deal with people and the next moment you don't or maybe you feel the need to like be around everyone one day and the next moment you want to be completely alone or you need it completely silent one moment you want to like listen to really loud music one moment you really don't like it's literally like you're changing continuously like very fast Um, I just open it on record your travels. So like I said, and then look, use your powers. So like you're literally using your powers. And also, like I was saying, record your dreams. Like I said, a lot of things are being shown to you in your dreams right now. So pay attention to what the divine is trying to show you. Even if you get like woken up in the middle of the night and like you had like a really crazy dream or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Or even if like something is being like whatever, whatever. All right, that's enough of that. I'm gonna like end this video. I'm gonna pull. I didn't even end up pulling the um, cards out of this deck. This is basically like tarot, basic tarot. All right, divine. What is the overall energy? And I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. It's raining pretty bad, and I'm ready to cook. I'm ready to eat. I didn't even eat today. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, because cards fell out. Well, look how these fell out. These three were showing, and this one was turned on his back. So, I'm going to take these. The strength card. So, the strength card is here. Actually, I'm going to put these back. I'm going to put these back, and if they're meant to come out, they're going to come out. So, I just need one card to buy just one card of their overall energy please and thank you divine just one card and i'm gonna take it right side up very strong and powerful very resilient as well go getter unstoppable 43 43 very unstoppable all right just one card divine look at this card should i take it six of pentacles the six of pentacles isn't that where like you're like um hold on well i see a clock here so something here like so it's like time put in time or time's up or time it's your time or something like that or whoa not even the six of pentacles that's the nine of pentacles i'm sorry so something about the six of pentacles is significant hold on y'all the nine of pentacles though so first of all I'm sorry, y'all. This deck is different. I gotta look it up. Alright. 
Oh, well, it says here the Nine of Pentacles upright, which I said I would take it upright. Um, the Nine of Pentacles upright means having financial independence, having self-reliance, um, a personal pursuits, period. The ability to treat yourself with luxury. Then we say like a super fancy romantic type of day. So I'm getting like you're luxurious. So you're literally going to start attracting like, yeah. And it says being on a stable financial plateau, a steady security. What do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Okay. I know this rap. Okay. I'm going to look up the Six of Pentacles because I literally thought it was the Six of Pentacles. Oh, look, this is the Six of Pentacles in this deck. Y'all, I'm still learning. That has nothing to fucking do with it, okay? <laughs> but I'm literally getting you're going to be, like, helping people. Helping, feeding the needy is also what I'm hearing. It says, we're, um, just rewards shared with setting firm boundaries. Okay, so it's like, like I said, boundaries are being set now. But you're now able to, like, associate yourself and do what you want to do. Attract what you want to attract while setting those boundaries. Remember I said you couldn't really do that in the past because you were uncomfortable but not saying any fucking thing. So it's like now you're in this state of, like, okay, we can hang out. But if you, if you're going to act up, then... I ain't even getting that at this point. I'm literally getting like, you're literally going to speak your mind. You're speaking up for yourself. You're speaking out. Literally self-resilient. Like self, um, self, like, yeah. So just know that everything is all right. Um, I'm literally getting, um, generosity, charity, giving, prosperity, and sharing wealth. So that's the six of pentacles. So we thought it was a six, but it's a nine. I think that is pretty much it though. I, I truly enjoyed you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Um, yeah everything is coming in fast everything is coming into you literally things are literally like the hermit in the reverse thing like you're coming out of the shell you're coming out of that introspective and now it's time to bloom baby and let your light shine through um yeah what go look up this song um by Kanye West what I was singing I think it's T-Pain and Kanye West just type in T-Pain featuring Kanye West and it's just type in shine. I don't know. Like, literally, that's your energy. That's the channel song throughout this message. So, yeah. Um, good luck to you, my friend. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you for standing up for yourself and coming into yourself and centering your, your thoughts, your emotions, and leading by heart, not by thought, not by, you know, resentfulness from the past. You know, just being your true, authentic self because that is what we need. But I love you so, so much, my dear friend. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.